this was a very interesting story. So if you don't know who Allison Stoner was, she was uh, she was her. a Disney yeah she's a Disney kid. Uh, she went on to have a pretty successful career, then left Hollywood for the most part. Still performed. She still does music. Uh, she acted in some stuff post Disney. I, I still remember her. And she has a podcast now. Yes, she does. So she ended up in an episode of Major Crimes. That was the first place I'd seen her as an adult. But she she had to formally request that people stop sending her Venmo requests <laughs> because people were just hitting her up and saying like, hey, could you could you give me money? Sweet. Uh, no, the, the, what this is, guys, is like we live in a culture right now where they see like all of these people talk about the virtue of being a, an awesome person, about how they're, you know, they've turned activism into part of their brand and it it attracts a certain type of fan mm -hmm. right so these people are like well you're supporting this cause why can't you support me here's uh, here's what she said for a car and rent payment Jocelyn wants two thousand dollars for a car down payment Christina Lexi Gina weasel Chelsea Taylor I know my chances are low they're a longtime fan you're my hero and I'm broke once college tuition covered just has a smiley face can't find a job and they're losing their apartment this is my this is my privacy is that not weird to you please please don't get any ideas please don't get any ideas the entitlement of the modern age is incredible if i was broke and uh stranded on the side of the road i don't think i would i wouldn't ask my dad for a penny <laughs> i mean i, I get it i think it's different to ask your family but than just an actor an, a former so child weird. actress who's on the he, internet here's the thing though okay so that's what i think makes it less weird is the fact that it's just a random internet celebrity you think it makes it less weird than if it was like a family member? I think it's way more normal to ask someone you because actually know for support yes, it's than kind someone of funny. randomly Absolutely. on the internet. It's kind of funny, and who knows? Like, what if it does happen? Yeah, I mean, that's the you thing. Know? Like, there's this is like a chance for it to be like, oh, a viral article. But the thing is, I know about her podcast because Instagram has started serving me clips from it, yeah. and one of them is like <clears throat> her talking about basically her whole podcast is talking about like the downfalls of being a child star and like the effect of it like i want to hear her interview uh jeanette mccurdy that girl whose oh, memoir yeah. i'm glad my mom was dead went, went crazy viral like the one i just saw was her saying oh yeah when i was a child star i when i i, I was like out on the road for music when i was a teenager because her career basically slowed down and stopped and she got a notification that one of her accounts was like overdrawn or completely empty and uh it turned out that like her I guess her mom and then like whoever's managing her team had made it so that they were getting bonuses from this account <laughs> since she was a kid. But then after her work slowed down, they never changed it. So they just uh, emptied they this account and they're like, but when you were 10 and we set this up, you you agreed to it. That's and she crazy. was like, you know, I didn't understand what you were saying. Yeah. And then no one changed this to adjust for like the end of my career. And so they just emptied an account like that's why i find the venmo thing interesting which is like they're not asking elon Musk. i mean maybe they would ask elon musk if they had access to his venmo but she's specifically talking about how like she doesn't have work in hollywood she's trying to leave the industry she doesn't have that money anymore and they're like pay my college tuition please i, th I honestly Jeez. don't know why this is as big of a story because i think everyone's playing fair game here i think the yeah, people that want to uh, this is not that big of a deal it's not but the, i just thought it was, that, i think it's i think it says something about the culture we're growing up uh, our kids are being raised into right so oh uh, yeah they're all they're all probably doing it they're all in everybody every influencer's comments asking for free why well, you, know, you know what it reminds me of is um occasionally on pinterest you'd see this thing that was like find the address or like the personal such information for like billionaire billionaires or like you know famous people and send them an invite to your wedding because they'll say no but they don't know that they'll they don't send know you a gift and they'll send you a gift yeah and i don't know if that ever works but it is interesting that it's like oh a rich stranger could possibly give you something and yeah. that you should therefore shoot your shot and ask i guess well yeah. dude you, i mean these people are getting caught but there's a lot of these criminals right now that like during the pandemic we're just writing charges to the government for like masks yeah. and vaccines mm -hmm. and other equipment. The government just didn't check. They're well, just like, oh, okay. There was that guy Boom. in Estonia nice. who stole like, I want to say at least $20 million. It yeah. might be more from Facebook and Google because he found the like company that they import some kind of part from and he would just send them invoices yeah, and they would just I've heard there's, that. A there's a $20 one right here from, just got extradited there's to the a $20 one here from boosted yogi says reminds me of the guy that sent invoices to a large company every month and they paid him for years for nothing you're right yeah, there with us yeah you understand what boom. we're talking it's, about uh, but you know this is this behavior isn't really new because i i know that on twitter x whatever when whenever there's like a post that's a meme that goes viral for, for from some irrelevant person usually the top comment after is the same person being like this is my cash app 
It's, it's yeah. like yeah, yeah, I get that. People are like just looking to have uh, well, money sent to them. You know, I think it's uh, oh, it really all these top meme accounts, right? That you see, like all these meme accounts, memes, yeah. all of them. Yeah. They're all. I'm pretty sure none of them are run by Americans. I think they're all foreign interests, and they all the top comment under every viral post is freaking OnlyFans or some Amazon product that's like a cheap little yeah. dinky toy that's gonna break in two seconds. It's really weird. It's really weird what's happening. I don't know if you've noticed it. Uh, but all pay of, more like, attention also, when, like, like when you're on there. All it's of these creepy. All of these platforms have, like. For a while, Instagram had like a, a revenue sharing system where you could make money on your posts and they got rid of that real quickly. And basically the only way to make money, I mean, not the only way, but the, the way for small creators to make money is like you can put send gift. So basically they're just facilitating a way for other people to send you money so they can take a cut of it on every transaction. You know, you know my theory on the blocking we of Elon? 20 pounds. Super there's a 21, yep, from... No, convert it. I want to see if, if that's not 20 go bucks ahead, American. Go ahead, go ahead. It's, 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 it's orange. Yeah. It's know? orange, so it's good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Hollywood logic following the Constitution and BOR is treason, but destroying the government documents on TV, wiretapping civilians without warrants in violation of the BOR, and politicians who aren't presiding taking documents at home isn't. What's funny about it to me, just to stay on that subject for a tiny bit, the amount of TV and movies that I've watched where one of the prevailing messages that Hollywood loves is the ends justify the means, so they don't really care. Think about all the cop shows where they just, where they just go into houses without warrants. And because they're like, well, they're the good guys, so it's fine. But do you think that desensitizes yeah. people to yes, that I do. kind of thing? Like yes. being like, oh, it's normal. It happened on it happened on Law and Order SVU, and Olivia I, Benson right. would never do anything wrong. I think the idea it's the idea that they believe they're, they've programmed people to think that the government are the good guys. Well, that's what I was saying about the mugshot. Mm -hmm. Is these people are so far removed from mm -hmm. the reality of law enforcement that they see them like they're giddy. They're like, yeah. this is like a new episode of CSI. Yeah. Like, but it's Trump. Like, oh my gosh. They're it's saying the that's 23 Amer twenty three dollars in in American currency. Wow. Mm. Thank you. That's crazy. Uh, that's you. from Viper uh better be. Viper sixty nine. So thank you guys. Okay, what was your theory, Dane? So the reason that Elon is removing the blocking feature is because he wants to promote subscriptions. Yeah? Because with subscriptions, you don't so naturally, the only people that can comment are the people that pay. And thus, if you want to have like a layer of privacy and you want to get the trolls out, there's you got, you got some money behind it. For example, uh, one, some of my favorite, one of my favorite creators is he's called DK from some gaming stuff. And he had a discord where you had to pay one dollar to be inside. And he was like. It's not about the money. It's just weeding the trolls out. Yeah. And yeah. there's no trolls. Yep. Mm. I was talking a single to... Dollar. Um, we're doing like a uh, company fantasy football league. Uh, and I said, you know, that's why like charging money is good. Like who cares about the cash prize? But anyone that's like not serious about it, they're not going to pay money for it, you know? But anyone that really wants to be a part of it, they'll do that. How many people are doing the fantasy football league? Usually standard is 10 people. I don't know how many we have to ha we have right now. I think we have like eight. I don't remember. Um, but oh, shoot, what was I, I was going to say something about that with the Elon thing is no one's going to pay subscriptions to people for just the current state of X. Like they need to completely revamp the video library so I can go on Tucker Carlson's page and I can just scroll through his episodes. Right. I don't want to have to scroll through his timeline yeah. for an episode three weeks ago. Yeah. You that, know how that, hard that it is sense. to find an old Tucker episode right now? It's impossible. Yeah, especially if somebody tweets a lot. Yeah, yeah, so either you need a dedicated account that only releases clips and does no other interactions, no likes, no retweets, nothing, or they need to revamp how they do that. Like, I would pay $2 a month, 5 bucks a month to watch Tucker on mm. Twitter, but not in its current state, you know? Mm. Yep. So I, I, th it, I think they're basically setting it up to get into the point where you'll – it's kind of a necessity. You know what I mean? Because so far, what I see, like, even the big people, if they have any subscribers, it's like 10. Yeah. Literally. I think, like, even Elon has 10. So... Yeah, people don't see the point of subscribing What's right the now. point? Right? So much of the... You can follow so many people and get so many things that it's all free. So, like, why would you even... Uh, yeah, so it's it's just it was weird to me to think that like it was you're gonna ask for something like a a thousand dollars for like a, a car payment and just it was just weird. It is weird. Yeah. I can't tell if it like speaks to entitlement or just like uh, shoot your shot culture. Because but Kellen's right that like it's the kind of thing that like you could be like oh I don't know and send you and then it's like 
wow someone's going to do child it actress does so nice so, and like you know what i mean like maybe someone's like yeah. pr team will be like you should do it because it's a good move right. on the other hand like it i does, feel bad stories. for this girl who's like only relevant right now because you're talking about like things people who were in charge of her finances right. did a, to her people it's, taking advantage of yeah. her yeah but also like you're like yeah. like uh your promotional team loves stories like that where you help one singular per, like one person and it makes for a great feel-good article that can be but written. then it just makes it more intense right like then people are gonna be like you did it one time maybe it'll to me like it'll probably double how many yeah. requests she's getting yeah the tates like every time someone makes fun of one of their fans for being really like extreme fan they give them a bunch of money yeah which is encouraging the fan to keep going yeah. and engaging yeah. thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys